What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Czech cereal. Starting around 1900, Ralston Purina made a hot wheat cereal that went by many names, including health food, wheat food, and breakfast food. By around the 1930s, it was called just Ralston, or Instant Ralston. And around this time, they wanted to get into the cold, ready-to-eat breakfast cereals, so they introduced Shredded Ralston. Now around 1950, Ralston was poised to introduce a new cereal called Rice Chex. They got the name Chex from the Ralston Purina logo, which looked like a checkerboard. So around this time, they renamed Shredded Ralston to Wheat Chex and paired it with their new Rice Chex cereal. Corn Chex wouldn't come in to complete this iconic trio until around 1959. But it's interesting to note that Wheat Chex didn't always look the way it looks today. It was a slow evolution from shredded wheat biscuits to the crisscross Chex shapes that we know. Okay, let's back up for a second and talk about the ad campaigns. Early on, Chex was a sponsor of the Space Patrol TV show. They would use characters on their boxes and even use characters to promote the cereal on TV. No matter how you fix them up, Chex are tops. The best cereals ever, not tops just one way, tops all three ways. Now, Ralston would drop this sponsorship in 1954 and pivot to a new spokesperson, Professor Checkerboard. He was a little off-putting, honestly, and Ralston must have knew that because they got rid of him shortly after introducing him. But they did give him a send-off in one final ad. It is a sad occasion for me. Indeed, I find it very difficult not to shed a tear. For this is the last time you shall see Professor Checkerboard. In the 1960s, they started using a new mascot on the boxes, the checkerboard Scarecrow. He definitely resembled the Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. And he didn't appear in any TV commercials as far as I can tell. The checkerboard Scarecrow was off the boxes by the end of the decade. Oh, I missed something. Chex Mix. By around 1952, recipes for this wonderful concoction were appearing on boxes of Chex cereal. But it wasn't until 1985 that the pre-packaged Chex Party Mix would hit the shelves. In the 80s and 90s, they used Peanuts characters on the boxes and in ads to promote Chex and Chex Mix. They're not coming? We can't eat the Chex Party Mix? All right! Chex Party Mix. It's so easy and so good. Here's one of those Peanuts boxes I have of Corn Chex from the late 80s. There's a Snoopy Bank shrink wrapped on the front. Let's take a look at it. There you go. It's just a plastic bank with Snoopy sleeping on his doghouse. There's a little sticker that says Chex Party Mix on it. So here's what corn checks look like, little crisscross checkerboard shapes, a little lighter in color compared with wheat checks here, but otherwise they look the same and they don't taste much different either. And there's been many varieties of checks besides just the classic trio of rice, corn, and wheat. In 1970, Ralston tried to get on the sweet and cereal market and they introduced sugar checks with Casper the Friendly Ghost as the mascot. That didn't last too long and the cereal and Casper were sent to the cereal graveyard. But they've had many different varieties over the years, including honey checks, chocolate checks, vanilla checks, cinnamon checks, apple cinnamon checks, wheat and raisin checks, strawberry checks. But two of my favorite varieties were the sweet and mini checks. Ralston released this one here in 1990. It was called Frosted Rice Checks Juniors. And then in 2002, General Mills released Frosted Mini Checks, which was basically the same thing. Which brings me to another point. The checks product was sold to General Mills in 1997, so Ralston doesn't make checks cereal anymore. And it's inspired other similar cereals from other companies over the years. I'm looking at you, Crispix. And also Double Dip Crunch from Kellogg's, which was another favorite of mine. But this video is about Czech cereal. And we should celebrate a classic cereal that's managed to adapt and change over the years and still remain popular. I mean, I never really buy this stuff, but still, glad it's around. Okay, that's it for Czechs. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. Good grief. I want Czechs Party Mix. Cereal.